refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago we lived, Felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe to you, from failing hands we throw the torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. And with the freedom with which we have been bestowed, let us confess to God our sins and shortcomings of this world, its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil divisions and hatreds. Let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for all his children. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of war, for the injured and the disabled, for the mentally distressed and for those whose faith in God and humanity has been weakened or destroyed for the homeless and refugees, for those who are hungry and for all those who have lost their livelihood and security, for those who mourn their dead, for those who have lost husband or wife, children or parents, and especially those who have no hope in Christ to sustain them in their grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, infinite in wisdom, love and power, have compassion on those to whom we pray. And help us to unite all suffering with his who gave himself for us all upon the cross. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he began to teach them, saying, Blessed, spiritually prosperous, and happy to be admired are the poor in spirit, those devoid of spiritual arrogance, those who regard themselves as insignificant, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, both now and forever. Blessed, forgiven, refreshed by God's grace are those who mourn over their sins and repent. For they will be comforted when the burden of sin is lifted. Blessed, inwardly peaceful, spiritually secure and worthy of respect are the gentle, the kind-hearted, the sweet-spirited and the self-controlled. For they will inherit the 
Let us remember before God and commend to him his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war. Those whom we knew, those whose memory we treasure, and all those who have lived and died in the service of humankind. Arthur Crook John Griffin George Heavens Reginald Lydiard George Henry Lee, James Williams and Herbert Williams, Charles Winter, Eric Norman Fuller, Barbara Francis, Bernard Drew Palmer, Francis Elliot Shaw. They shall not go old as we that are left go old, age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Let us pledge ourselves and you to service of God and neighbour. We may help, encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and the welfare of the nations. In the words our Saviour taught us, let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God grants a living grace to the departed rest, to the church, the nation, and all of humanity, peace and concord. And to us and all his children, life everlasting. Amen.